neighbors, and I'm an atheist because I love rationality and science. Egypt's Orthodox Christians did not mark Orthodox Christmas with the usual enthusiasm this year. Coptic Christians are concerned about threats to themselves, their religion, and their houses of worship by Muslim extremists. Egypt's Christians are also concerned about the country's newly drafted constitution. It was written by an Islamic-dominated assembly, which some believe undermines religious freedoms and does not guarantee equal rights for Copts, and contradicts the principles of citizenship. However, conditions under the present president, Mohamed Morsi, may prove to be better for Coptic Christians than they were under President Mubarak from 1981 to 2011. A new law on houses of worship is under discussion in the Sura Council. The new legislation will allow Christians to build and renovate their churches as stipulated by the Constitution. Orthodox Christian Patriarch Pope Tawadras II is optimistic. Addressing the Christian faithful at the traditional Christmas Eve Mass on Sunday, January 6th, Tawadras asked the congregation to pray for Egypt. However, Egypt's Coptic Christian community seems to be less optimistic. While the Pope sounded an optimistic tone, saying that he anticipates a better future for Egypt, many Christians attending the prayers said they do not share his optimism. It is a truth universally acknowledged that Christians are quickly becoming a minority all over the world. However, a report generated by Open Doors, a non-denominational Christian group, claims that about 100 million Christians are persecuted around the world with conditions worsening for them most rapidly in Syria and Ethiopia. Meanwhile, North Korea, Saudi Arabia, and Afghanistan are con considered to be the three toughest countries for Christians in 2012. Still, according to the report, Christians are persecuted in countries where Christians make up the majority as well as the minority of the population. However, despite the support for Open Doors claims by the leaders of Christian denominations, it is hard to produce enough reliable comparative statistics to give it a solid empirical basis, and German Chancellor Angela Merkel considers it pointless to try to rank religions according to how persecuted they are. Furthermore, it is worth noting that Open Doors is a non-denominational Christian group which began in the 1950s smuggling Bibles into communist states and now works in more than 60 countries. It seems that along with raising awareness of the persecution of Christians around the world, Open Doors is focused on bolstering and spreading Christianity to the exclusion of all other religions. Although Indonesia is on its way to becoming a first world country, a government proposal is set to undermine the education of future contributors to the country's progress. The Indonesian government plans to eliminate the focus on science education in schools in order to increase the focus on religion. Science may still be taught as part of, part of other classes, but it will not have separate compulsory classes as religion does. Despite the objections of teachers and parents, the Indonesian government claims that the public is generally supportive of the changes. However, the government does not give any explanation for how more religion and less science will affect Indonesia's economic future.